Welcome to the H2O Operator Academy Math Playlist. This playlist is a work in progress and video quality may vary drastically as I am just a poor operator and nobody pays me. I am in no way being held against my will and being forced to make these videos with subpar equipment. It's just a Bluetooth headset. I'm going to say this once and only once. Here it goes. Deep breath. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to read that part out loud. Anyway. If the following videos help you study and learn water treatment math, give this page a follow, like a video, feel free to leave questions or comments. I will do my best to answer, but I am busy because we are short staffed here, so hurry up and get your dang license before any more of these old timers retire. That didn't feel as dirty as I thought it would, but I promise I won't like and subscribe at the beginning of every video. I will, however, give the following legal ease or whatever it's called. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Please don't sue me. I claim no ownership to any of the questions or material presented in this video as everything is sourced off the open internet. In the following slides, I have to the best of my knowledge presented the proper formulas and correct answers to the questions. This is a study guide for water treatment math and all information presented is for educational purposes. I'm doing this to help me learn and if it helps you too, that's great. Now that that is out of the way, let's talk about formula sheets. I am in Florida until the weather floats me away, so I will be using the state of Florida formula sheets in my videos. I have a video that gives brief overview of how different states have different formula sheets. I recommend that you figure out what or if your state gives out a formula sheet for exams. Uh, ask a coworker. They might remember what it was like in the yonder years. Call the licensing agency. They might answer the phone. Google it. That's what I did. There should be links in the description to the Florida and ABC formula sheets if I remember to put them there. I highly recommend that you figure out what your state uses and get familiar with it and use it while practicing the math so that when you do take the exam, you aren't scrambling around trying to find formulas like a distribution guy who had a line break at 2 a.m. So if you can get the math down, it should be an easy couple of points on your exam. If given the formulas, it can be as easy as plug and play. Let's get into some examples of water treatment math and the fun things we can learn together on my math playlist. If I can do it, you can do it. In the following videos on this math playlist, I will have example questions. Some will be multiple choice. Some you're just going to have to figure out the answer. I will go through the problem step by step and I will show you the formulas that come off the formula sheets when answering. So here's an example of a feed rate pounds per day so you see the question you see the multiple choice answers and then I will have the formula and I will work through it with you step by step here's an example of a chlorine demand question I have a video for that in this playlist I've tried to order this playlist in scaling of difficulty but I have ADD and my brain is a little scrambled so you might just have to look around to find what you need Throughout the math playlist, I will try to demonstrate how to do maths and cancellation of units of measurement without using the fancy math terms because I don't actually know them. But here's an example of converting gallons a minute to gallons per day, where as you see, things cancel out and you're left. See, I didn't even do it right. I screwed up already. So bear with me. Let's try this again. Gallons a minute to gallons per day. The minutes will cancel out, the hours will cancel out, and you'll be left with gallons per day. I promise to do a better job of editing my other videos in the future. Water treatment math problems can involve multiple steps and conversions to find the right answer. Remember, the units of measurement and the answer matter and exams are notorious for trying to trip you up. For some reason, the licensing agencies shoot for a high failure rate. So let's see if we can't mess that up for them by using these videos together to study and learn. So the thing to notice with this particular example is that it shows you just can't stop after doing the volume math because the answer would have been in cubic feet. And the answer that it's looking for is in gallons. So you'd have to continue your conversions. And again, here's your little cancellation thing, whatever it's called, where the cubic feet cancel out down here at the bottom. And I will demonstrate this in the videos in this playlist. I will do multiple different types of math problems. I will dedicate videos to each type of problem found on the formula sheet. And I will do my best to answer them correctly. And we can work on this stuff together. Some of the subjects covered in this math playlist would be the Davidson pie chart, chlorine dose, chlorine demand, chlorine residual, detention time, weir overflow rate, surface loading, pounds formula. You know what? 
I'm not reading this whole list. You're future operators, not engineers. You can read. Of course, more things will be added in the future as I go along. And if there's something you were looking for and can't find, feel free to ask. And maybe we can solve it together. Man, I'm tired of talking. So this is the last slide. Feel free to join me on this adventure as I make horrible quality videos with PowerPoint and mispronounce words while stumbling through math problems. I'm doing this to help me study and learn, and if it helps you too, that's great. Thanks.